Hello everyone, this is Paintball4864, and I am here telling you what's the difference between CO2 and compressed air. So let me get the two tanks here. CO2 tank, 12 ounces. We got a 3000 PSI 4048CU Ninja tank with a Ninja regulator. So let's go off with the basics. So um, for CO2... Uh, it's more readily available. It's usually cheap. It's cheaper. So I bought this tank from Sports Authority Online for $25. I know it's a little more expensive side, but um, $25. Um, uh, this is what beginners will use. It what comes with beginner uh, gun package. It, it is if you go down your sporting goods stores like Sports Authority and Dex Sporting Goods, they will fill this up for you. And, uh, really, they never need mains except for your O-ring and, um, that. But it does, if they're not as good as cold weather and they're better in warmer weather and they, and your shots can fluctuate in the FPS when you're shooting and you're not more consistent really overall in your shooting of your gun. So there's CO2. That's just a brief overview. Now we're going to go on to, um, uh, compressed air. Uh, this uh, compressed air is probably not as available as CO2, and some guns do require it. So uh, some of the nicer guns that go up into the uh, 300 to 400 and uh, so on, so on, can require compressed air. And um, compressed air. Uh, this is a 3,000 psi, so it comes in 3,000 psi and a uh, 4,500 psi. Um, I'm I'm using a 3,000 PSI, but this was $50 and this was $25. This is better for your gun, better to use, more consistent overall. This, cheaper, I can fill it up at other places, but not as great for my, not as great for my marker, and it's not as consistent with my shots. So, um, uh, also with a compressed air, usually you'll have, um, a pressure gauge, which is right here, and, um, see to you don't so you never know when you're gonna run out so if I um so if I have my gun and I'm firing and then I hear go back a lot that means I'm running out so I have to get off the field but with this right before I when I get out of a game I can see oh I have uh, this is a 3000 psi but um I have in right now at zero, at zero but let's say oh I have only 500 psi left I should fill my tank up and that's a big thing you can figure out what when you're gonna use like when you need to refill this and you can also refill this at your house much easier so I have a uh, 1 4500 PSI uh, old firefighter scuba tank that I got from my father um, and I have two 2500 PSI scuba tanks that I can fill up and I and you can invest about 30 to Thirty-five dollars in about a scuba tank filler. You can fill these up all the way. There's your fill up, but you hook it on. I will post a video on how you fill these up. Okay. So um, with uh, so we've talked about the basics of uh, the basics of compressed air, basics of CO2, and what it does to your gun. This one's better for it, and how your shots are more consistent. CO2 shots are less consistent. It's not as great because. C2 comes out in a different, it, I, I, it's hard to explain, but it comes out in a different form, and it can, it, it's a liquid, so it can, uh, it can slow down, so if you're firing a lot of shots, it can start that, and it can stain your gun, so you can have those extra shots, and that's where you get that fluctuation of, um, uh, the FPS. With this, it's, it's air, it's really, it's just, it's just compressed air, like what it says in the name. Um, the this is a full aluminum tank, so they are on the heavier side. So if, if I could have you guys feel the weight, this one is a lot more heavier than this one. But um, uh, if you do get like one of those carbon fiber tanks, the most used tank is the 68 CI 4500 psi tank. I don't have one because I didn't feel like spending 145, 150 dollars on one of those tanks, so I just bought this. And um, it is a little heavier, so you. It can't, you can't lose some maneuverability, but if you're using a remote line and just put this in your vest, perfect. Because you're because you're not having the weight. You might be carrying around the weight, but you're probably not running running way too fast. And that, yeah, but I do suggest getting a smaller tank if you play more speedball. But um, 
This tank, it's great for your beginners, cheap, easy to use, requires very little, requires almost no maintenance except for the O-ring, and um, it really, you never have to get these retested. This, it's a, uh, I think it's a uh, five-year hy hydro, so that means I have to get it retested. And hydro hydroing is where they uh, fill the tank up with water. And then they will pump, uh, the, they'll pump, they'll pump water into it, and then they will uh, pressurize it, and I'll look for any cracks in the tank. And so that's what they do. Uh, you have to do that every five years, and after after about 15 years, it's probably a good time just to get rid of the tank. But this one, really, uh, I don't know how long you can have these. Really, beginners will use them. You'll use them for the first. As long as you really want to use this, and then you then you'll just get rid of it, or you or you can keep it around, just let it sit around. If you have sisters or siblings, your wife, girlfriend, and you don't feel like buying one of these tanks or that. But um, for this, my personal opinion on uh, this, it's heavier. I do suggest, I do not like that. So it is pretty heavy. I think it weighs about the same weight as my gun, so I, that isn't great. And I think on some guns, this one can weigh more. So it's better for like, let's say you're playing uh, woods woods ball games, and you don't, and you're not spending the money, and you just buy this tank and you have it on your back. It really doesn't matter about the weight, and you probably shouldn't care care that much. And um, you can. This is also. With a consistency, I know I keep going back to consistency, but when I was but when I was using this, I would feel like, why am I running out of shots? I play two games and I have to get the, this refill for 250. I can get my, I use my own scuba tank. I can get it filled, and I can just refill it right. I can just refill it for free, and I and if I need to, and I can check how how much I'm using, how many shots I might be getting if I want to count. So, I've gone over everything about both of the tanks, and my recommendation, get compressed air. Get, 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 get compressed air. Don't use CO2. If you're a, if you're a beginner, beginner, and you buy in a gun package, get it. But if you buy it all separate, you can spend 25 more dollars getting something that is 100 times better, I personally think. It's just so much better than, than CO2. Compressed air, CO2. I go with compressed air all the way. Put that little extra money into it, and you can soon get one of those, um, uh, you get, uh, they call them booby tanks sometimes, and they're these little 50 CI Ninja, Ninja tanks, they're 4,500 PSI, and they'll work perfectly, and have really everything you need, but usually you get 60 CI, 4,500 PSI tanks. My personal opinion, get compressed air, like I said, my opinion, get compressed air over CO2, start out even getting compressed air, and just skip CO2 all, because you're not going to spend too like both of these tanks, seventy-five dollars together. If if I got rid of this, if I never used this tank, my twenty-five dollars. I only spent fifty. I'm saying I'm might be spending double this, but I'm getting a tank that will last longer. And I'm I'm going oh see it too. I've heard lots about compressor. I should upgrade to it. You just upgrade to it, and you you don't get this, and so that, so. Get compressed air, and also please please subscribe to Paintball Four Eight Six Four or my channel, and uh, which is my channel. But uh, subscribe and watch my videos. I'll be posting videos a lot. I'll uh, try to post at least one to two to three a week if I can. Okay, bye. Have a good day.